Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. This morning, I'm going to be making some chicken and stuffing and broccoli in my crock pot. So I thought that I would show you guys how I do it. I used to make this recipe a while ago, but I mean, I usually stay away from cooking in the crock pot until fall hits, winter hits, and then I'm like really into it, which I should be cooking in the crock pot year round because I mean, it is awesome. But anyway, so I have my crock pot here and I'll show you guys everything that I'm using. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am on Pinterest and most of the recipes that I make are on my Pinterest. So if you guys are interested in following me there, I am AZ for Angela and I think my little photo is of myself with a nun doll, just in case you guys are wondering. Okay, so let's get started. Um, these are the ingredients that we need. We need chicken stuffing. Um, you're supposed to use a half a cup of mozzarella cheese and a half a cup of shredded cheese. Um, also, I have my chicken breast um, over in the refrigerator right now. Um, let's see. You're supposed to use one can of cream of celery soup, but I just have um, a can of cream of chicken. So you're supposed to use a cream of chicken and a cream of celery. So I just have two of these. Um, let's see what else you're supposed to use a half a cup of butter melted. So we will melt this and you're supposed to use one cup of low sodium chicken broth. Now I made my own chicken broth with the better than bouillon. Um, this you guys can get at Costco or any supermarket and you just dissolve it in hot water here. So what I'm adding to this recipe also are some, um, broccoli because, you know, we like adding vegetables wherever we possibly can. So, um, yeah, let's get to the prep. So the first thing you're going to want to do is definitely, you know, spray your pan down. Make sure that nothing is going to stick in there. You could also use one of those crock pot um, nonstick bags if you want. And this recipe did not call for onion, but I, um, you know, did a little onion here in my little food chopper thingy. So we're going to put that in there and I just put it on the bottom. Just, you know, a little added vegetable there. Okay. And next I'm going to put some of the broccoli on the bottom here. Um, you can just eyeball it. You know, it just depends on, I guess, whatever your family likes, if they like a lot of broccoli and depending on what size your crock pot is. Um, but I would just break these bigger broccoli chunks down a little bit so it cooks more evenly, but I'm gonna do that. I can't do it one-handed. Okay, so I have the broccoli in there. It's all broken up. And next I'm going to be adding the chicken breast. This is just, again, from Costco. You know, you get these big, like, I think it's either six or eight packs of chicken breast. And I put these from my freezer to my refrigerator last night. So this one is not frozen, but these two are still frozen. So I'm going to be running them underwater. Um, I'm probably going to be trying to flatten these out a little bit. And I will show you guys them when I get them inside here. Okay, so the chicken now is in. Um, don't be scared if it's a little bit frozen. It's not going to be a big deal because it's going to cook for like six to eight hours so it's definitely going to cook through. Next, I'm gonna be putting some salt and pepper on the chicken breast. Of course, I can't do that one hand again, so you'll see that in a okay. second. So the salt and the pepper now are on the chicken. And I did actually have a Parmesan mozzarella cheese blend and then cheddar. So this is actually probably about two cups, if not more. So, I mean, we love our cheese here in Wisconsin. So, you know what? That's what we're gonna do. So you put the cheese on top of the chicken. I probably have way too much cheese here, but we like things extra cheesy. There we go. Everything on there, yum. Okay, there we go. I just wanna make sure it's kind of evenly distributed there. 
Um, okay, then we need to mix the soups together in a bowl and then pour them over the chicken and the cheese. Which I sort of forgot that the soup is all the same. So I put the first one in a bowl here. I'll just scrape that up off camera. And then um, here is the second can. Oh my God, it smells not the best and sounds not the best. There we go. That's all on there now. Okay, so I spread the soup mixture out. Next, you're gonna wanna take your bag of stuffing and just sprinkle it on top, nice and evenly on top of the soup mixture here. Go. And it did, oops, it did say that if the seasoning packet is not in the stuffing because like old school, sometimes that's what happens. Um, you are supposed to mix that seasoning packet into the stuffing, just an FYI. Okay, and then next they say to mix the butter and the, um, oh, what do you call it? Mix the butter and the broth together and then pour it over the stuffing. So this is going to be our liquid. There we go. We're gonna pour that over the stuffing, try to get it as evenly as possible so that liquid is all incorporated in there. There we go. Yum. Okay, so that's gonna be the moisture for the stuffing. There we go, and um, I have some of this Lando Lakes Mexican cheese here. Hold on, let me try to get it with one hand again. Um, and there's just a little bit left in here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle it just a little bit on top because we are from Wisconsin, so why not? What the hell? There we go. And it says on here that you're supposed to cook on low for six to eight hours or high for four to six. It just depends on when you guys um, want to eat. So I am going to figure out the timeline and then I will show you the finished product. Okay, so I've had this going for, I would say, about five and a half hours. And I've been cooking it on high. I think I'm going to, ooh, that's really hot. Okay, so let me get my oven mitt here. Um, I'm going to turn it off and I'm just going to kind of let it sit for the last half hour, but ooh, you guys, it is bubbly. It looks so good, so hot, so steamy, so delicious. I'm so excited to dig into this. You could do a side of rice with this and like put the gravy on the rice, which I'm going to ask my daughter if that's what she wants to do. But oh my God, you guys, it looks so, so good. So this will feed six people. Um, so we'll have enough, you know, for leftovers for two days, which is amazing. Um, I put three chicken breasts in there, so it will be, you know, a half a chicken breast per serving. So this recipe does, you know, make a lot of food for either a big family or for meal prep. You guys, look at how tender this chicken is. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to dig into this. You could even have like a little side of challah bread. I know it would be double bread. Oh, actually, it's not chala. I forgot. I have Jewish friends, so I should know this. But, um, oh, so good. So I'm just going to kind of let this cool. I'm going to turn everything off, like I said. I just had to, like, dig into the chicken to make sure that it was done. And then I also brought up a little piece of broccoli, too, to make sure that that was finished because... I don't like really like my broccoli like crispy or to have any crunch to it. I like it to be completely cooked. Okay, you guys, here it is. It smells so good. You've got the cheese, the broccoli, the chicken, the stuffing. I've got some bread on the side and it looks amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. The dog is trying to get the food. Oh my god, not a good not a good situation. 
Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, um, you know, this little, this little video about what I am making for my one meal a day. I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you guys all later. Oh my gosh, the dog. Bye everyone. Have a good one. And if you make this, definitely let me know. Bye guys.